Hey guys, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play. Wrong button. Welcome to the finale of Let's Play. I'm just failing here. Look at that. There we go. Welcome to the, the finale of Let's Play Legend of Zelda DX. We are now outside the Windfish, ready to enter and defeat the, the nightmares of this land. Now, just to note, you will need pretty much every item. The boomerang's quite nice, quite handy. Bombs, I don't think you'll need. Arrows, you will need. Best to have the upgrade. But I'm going to use the boomerang really. And magic powder you would definitely need. But for now, let's just enter and go through this dungeon. Wind fishes egg. So yeah, it's pretty dark, pretty dark. Whoa, there's, the, there's, there's a massive hole in the floor. So now, this is where the code you wrote down from the library comes in handy. Follow it exactly. So I was left, up, right, up. It will always be some sort of looping code, I think, but it all, it differs from game to game. So, you always make sure you check it. Just randomly going through it won't really help you. But here we go, and down we go. To the shadows of the damned! We were born of nightmares to take over this world. We made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. But you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. So the first boss. Get your magic powder out. This has many forms. Get your magic powder out. And it's, if you remember it, from the color dungeon. Sprinkle that powder. It will go nuts and move. Watch out for the black dot. And then sprinkle. Yeah, you, you can't deal with my magic powder. Sprinkle. My magic fairy just owns you. Alright, so now he's done with that form. You can equip whatever you want. I actually like... Oh, the mirror shield? Yeah, we'll equip the mirror shield. This, if anyone's played Link to the Past, is Aghanim. So he will fire fireballs at you. The first few will all be these big circle ones. Just hit them back at him and that's how you do damage. He will end up firing eventually cross-shaped ones. And that's why I've got the mirror shield equipped to see if that'll work in terms of defending. If it doesn't, get the rock's feather equipped and a quick dodge out of the way should serve you well. Block. No, mirror shield does not block it. Okay, so you just want to hop out of the way. You have to dodge, I think you have to dodge like two of these. Oh no, no, no. Oh, come on. Yeah, you've got to be a bit nearer than that, unfortunately. Reaction times. You have to have some good reaction times for this boss. Come on then. Up. Yeah, you can't touch this. Da, 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 da. The end of this windfish symbol thing here is probably the best place to stand and get a good hit back on it. Bang. Oh, I thought I took three hits. Oh, I guess it must take four. Okay. Come on then. Oh. Yeah, can't touch this. Da, 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 da. Can't touch this. Da, 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 da. Bang. Four hits. He'll spin around and he is dead. He is out of there. Okay, so next up is... Oh my god, it's Moldorm. It's just like he was in the tail cave, but at least he's a little less annoying because you can't fall down any holes. But yeah, it's still annoying. Still an annoying boss of annoying town. Stopped me showing you the secret ending he did. So did other things though. I think while well, I died like three times in the course of this place, three, two, three times. Alright, Moldarm's dead. Next phase. Ganon. Now, I like to do the old spin charge attack to do damage to him. Uh, I think you are meant to charge into him with your Pegasus boots, but this just seems to do enough damage as well. There we go, see? And then we get to the last one here. I'm trying to remember how you used to on this. Is it the Fire Rod? Yes, it is. Fire Rod. Now, get your boomerang out. Your boomerang out, all your arrows if you don't have the boomerang. Why you wouldn't have the boomerang, I don't know, but anyway. This is the final form. Deathle. Hop over his arms. If his face touches you, it's still going to hurt, but that's the best way to avoid massive damage. Now, the key is to fire things into his eye whenever he opens it. Oh, oh god, that's the wrong button. Oh, just fling the boomerang. It's got to be fully open, though, that's the only problem. Come on then. Come on. What? The boomerang's meant to one-hit KO you. 
open again. Why isn't the boomerang? Boomerang. I was told the boomerang won't hit KOs. And I've actually managed, I've done it before, but why ain't it working now? There we go. This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. Death to the nightmares. Thief, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. What? Oh, okay. Yes, sir. That's it. Our final boss is defeated. And now we go up through some funky psychedelic LSD clouds. To some sort of weird plinth thing. It's the owl! Hoot hoot! Hoot, young lad. I mean thief, the hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. Bits of the Triforce. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the, entered the dream and began wrecking havoc. The new thief came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Why am I trying to be a Sean Connery? Not really. Anyway, thank you, thief. My work is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye. Hoot! Hoot indeed. Hoot indeed. Whoa. Holy mackerel indeed. Giant fish thing. I am a windfish! Long has been my slumber. I can't do that voice. In my dreams, an egg appeared, and I was surrounded by an island with people and animals and world. Ugh. It does remind me of the fish in Dark Chronicle, King Margarine. It does remind me of that. When I dost awaken, Nohalet will be gone, and only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the waking world. Someday, though, may we call this island. I've, I've fucked up reading that. Basically, he's saying, you'll remember. Come on, Steve, let's awaken together. I'm sleeping too. Oh. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. Not that one. Yeah, thankfully it's the Ballad of the Windfish, not that terrible one that those frogs taught us. And this is really, this is quite upsetting. This is the whole world vanishing. The kids playing ball. They're gone. The otter rocks on the beach. They're gone. Marion finding mushrooms. Mario finding mushrooms. Tarion, whatever. He's gone. And Marion singing her song. She's gone too. Bye bye, Nohalit. Oh, it's really sad. It is really sad. Look at it. Fizzle out. The only way. And then we're just like, oh crap. The thing below us is gone. Where do we go? This is Team Rocket blasting off again. I've been using that a lot recently. But anyway. That is. End of Nohalit, and where are we now? Where are we now? Funny, I say it was all a dream. Well, we knew that, so that's fine. <laughs> there he is, Link, passed out on the ruins of his ship. See, a lot of people wonder where this fits in, the whole timeline of Zelda's. I like the timeline. I follow a split timeline, personally, and I believe this happens after I have a Link to the Past or Oracle series. One or the other, but it happens. But in his faint background, Link can hear the song. A uh, shadow appears, which will be nice, because he'll quickly burn out there. There he goes, the giant windfish whale thing. Love this music. Love it. The game by this was awesome. I am thinking back to the first time I ever finished this game. It was about 8 o'clock in the morning on a school day, so I literally had like 10 minutes before I was meant to leave, and I was like, Mum, I finished it! Mum, I finished the game! I finished the game! I've done it! Finally! Finally! And they was just like, Turn it off! we got to go to school! I was like, but i got to watch the credits! <laughs> and I don't know why. Well, that's years ago now. Uh, yeah, the emulator has a bit of a fit at this moment in time on the credits, so um, deal with it. Director Yoshinuro Tutiyama, scriptwriter Nobu Matsuyomiya. This is back in the days where games took like what teams of like ten people to program, and that was it. And uh, nowadays it takes like hundreds of thousands. Uh, that, that's probably an exaggeration. Hundreds to thousands. 
Not hundreds and thousands and hundreds and thousands. That's just a lot of people. I, I don't think it takes that long. But yeah, that's that's Link's Awakening. Uh, what, my favourite Zelda game. I'll go as far as to say my favourite Zelda game. Really, really good. Um, if you've never played it, play it. I guess it it's aged all right in in a way. It hasn't aged brilliantly. Uh, some of the things might be done to death now, you might be doing it whatever, and other Zelda games might be better, but I really do love this Zelda game. First Zelda game I've ever played, so I do love it. Um, play the colour version, no point in playing the black and white version, the colour version looks better, it's got more stuff to it, etc. There's all those photos, if you really want to get them I can't be bothered, they don't really add anything to the game. Don't have a Game Boy printer or anything, so yeah, useless really. There goes the windfish, and his patchwork quilt glory. Love this music, yes I do! So now I need to think of what to do next. Like I said, Super Mario Bros. 3 is a very high recommendation in my mind because I haven't done it yet and I think it'd be interesting to do it and see how I feel playing through it, but I don't know. It'd probably fly by as well, probably be pretty quick. I, see, I'm a Sonic man, so I like to fly through levels really quick. With Mario, sometimes you can't do that. You have to actually slow down, otherwise you'll die a lot. Which is what I think I'm learning in my Super Mario Galaxy at the minute. But, um, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. But, yeah, Sigiro Miyamoto. Yigori Amiyuchi, if you can read that, I can barely read it myself. See, at this point here, if you had no deaths, Marion would float across the screen with seagull wings. But I did die, thanks to Moldor, but... Anyway! That's the end of the LP. Another finale, another LP run under the belt. So join me next time for something new, something different, something interesting and exciting probably. Or just more Dark Chronicle, I don't know, one of them. This has been Cold Sned. catch you on the flip side.